Are you here for a reason? Are you serious about building a steady plan? Stick into your study plan in the coming months as you prepare for the FD exam. If you said yes, you came to the right place. I'm Farouk and I'm going to be your lead instructor and study partner here at Direct Hub. Each year, I help hundreds of students just like you pass their civil FD exam. And my students come from all walks of life. Even if they have an international degree, even if they've been out of school five years, 10 years plus, and they feel like they forgot everything they learned already, even if they have a really busy work schedule, and even if they have a family and kids to take care of, and even if they failed their FE exam already, whether it may be one time, two time, five time, 10 time, they still keep going. They get back up, they assess their situation, they come up with a new game plan, and they use Direct Hub to prepare as best as possible before that next attempt. And that's exactly what you're gonna do using Direct Hub. This course is designed using the best teaching methods, the best technology, and the most relevant practice problems to help you pass your FE exam with confidence. Long gone are the days where you're sitting there watching hour upon hour of long, boring lectures, two to three hours long, where the instructor is scribbling on the screen and not really giving you anything of significance. Long gone are the days where you see a practice problem and not even know how to even begin. And long gone are the days where you see a textbook solution, you see where they have the equation, you see the conversion, you see the numbers, but they don't explain where they got the equation, the numbers, and that leaves you questioning yourself, questioning whether you're even capable of doing this, leaving you lost, and ultimately, leaving you not motivated to even study. And this is exactly why I created this Civil FD exam prep course. This course contains videos that are relevant and practical to the latest Civil FD exam. The videos are five minutes to 20 minutes long maximum. These videos will expose you to the right problem solving skills that you can directly apply on exam day. Because at the end of the day, this exam is testing your own problem solving skills. Therefore, you're going to get exposure to a lot of hands-on problems with step-by-step -step solution. Anytime you're asking questions, anytime you get stuck, you have these detailed solutions that cover the concept and cover the systematic approach to solving a problem. You're never going to get stuck because you'll always have me Anytime you get stuck, you can email me and I'll make sure to get you back on track. Now let's get into the exciting part. Let me show you some of the course features that you'll get after enrolling in this course. First of all, this course is organized by the Civil FE exam specifications. So these are the specifications for the Civil FE exam. I got this from the latest FE handbook and we see mathematics and statistics. It has certain subtopics. We keep going. Surveying is going to be here, number nine, water resources and so on. So this course is organized by these topics so you can ease back and relax. Do not worry about whether you're studying the right concept, the right topics, all of that is taken care of. Now we're in the course. So this course is broken down just like the real FE exam. We have the morning section. This is the first section and it's going to cover mathematics and statistics up until surveying. We have the second section. This is the afternoon section and it's going to go from water resources and environmental up until construction. Let's click on the morning section and see what we have. So in the morning section, the first section, we can resume the course to see where we left off during our last study session. Now at the beginning, we have some introductory video tips. So for example, there is a video how to use the latest FB handbook with practical tips to be faster. Control Shift F, how to use that in the PDF of the handbook. Now we have study schedule, right? Study habits, study motivation tips. There's a lot of videos here. You don't have to watch all of them and you will come back to these when you're not feeling motivated or maybe you wanna be better at building your study plan and study structure. So we have, how do we know when you're ready? Developing a study schedule, time blocking, 2024 study calendar. We'll see that. Let me open that to the right. I'll refer to that to show you that. Weekly study plan on goal setting progress tracker. That's there too. That's another PDF you can only get in this course. Study time tracking, framing study goals, how to stop forgetting what you learned. 
a lot of study tips that you can directly apply as you're studying and tips you can apply on exam day. So there's a lot of these tips that you can use. And let me show you something here. Based on that study calendar, this is what you'll get. You'll actually get something developed for the civil FE exam. Let's say my exam, as of today, we're in July. Let's say I have my exam booked in December, sometime in December. Let's pick one, December 18. And then I know from today in July, I'm going to start my study, let's say beginning of August. I'm going to begin with studying in August. What do I do? I'm going to do mathematics and statistics. I'm going to review, quiz, practice, and I teach us how to use this in the course. It's a study calendar for the civil FB exam. So I'm going to allocate that to give me a rough, rough time frame each month leading up to my FB exam date. So now let's go back here and we have all of this, a lot of notes at the beginning. We have algebra review videos. So if you forgot your algebra, don't worry. 10 years, 20 years out of school, doesn't matter. I'm gonna teach you the basic algebra skills, expressions, the very basics. We start from the ground up. So I got you with that one. So now calculator solve with command, a lot of more tips, unit conversion table. So we have that stuff. And what else do we have? Now we're starting to get into the topics, unit conversions, rounding, solving problems faster. What's my tip for that? How can you start solving problems faster? And now we have summary equation sheets for a lot of these morning topics as shown. Now we get into the fun stuff, mathematics and statistics. Let's focus on analytic geometry. So we have that section, we have 58 lecture and practice. We can actually hit that expand button and it shows us all the practice video problems we will do. And you can download all these practice problems as a PDF. So now with that said, we can collapse that. We can go here and open the actual heading. We can click that and we'll see some lesson notes. So these are lesson notes that are practical, concise, and they will absolutely help you answer those conceptual questions because you're going to be going through active reading material. As you look at the wording, the paragraphs, you're going to relate that to images to develop your conceptual understanding. So for example, let me scroll through this. There's a lot for analytic geometry. Notice it's step by step. It shows us the equation, let's say of a slope intercept form, and it gives us some examples as well. Example finding a slope, very basic fundamental stuff we will do at the beginning. Let me go back up top and show us at the beginning that we can go to the table of contents and go at the end. Let me go to the last part, which we don't like conic sections. I'm going to go to the parabola. So clicking the parabola shows me the case for the parabola, the equation, extra notes, and a lot of extra diagrams, which are not in the FE handbook, because we know in the handbook, they only provide one case for the parabola. Very important to know, but we know a parabola can open up, down, right, left. We're going to learn all of that. And that's what this shows here. And we have also the ellipse. We have the next one. We have extra notes and ellipse stretching this way, ellipse stretching up and down as well. We have the other fun stuff, hyperbola. What else we have? The last one is a circle. So we have all of that. And notice after that, we have also examples. We have classifying conic sections using the FE handbook, conic section of a circle, example. We have an example here again for the conic section. And you're going to get a lot of examples in these lesson notes as well for each section. So now let me go back to the part where we have the actual course. If I go here, let's go see some of the practice problems. So let me go through this. Let's go and see once, let's say a drag and drop. So these are common nowadays on the exam and this is under analytic geometry still. So we have the case where we want to drag and drop the different types of conic sections, circle, parabola, the di directrix parallel to the X axis. And we want to put this in the right spot. So this is kind of an overkill for an FE type question, but I'm trying to make us do the hard questions just in case we get them on the exam. And if we can do the hard one, we're going to be able to do the easy ones on exam day. Drag and drop question right here. Notice we see the correct answer. We see the video solution right here. And this is going to walk you through the entire video solution, explaining these different conic sections and the equations. And now at the very bottom, we also have video graphs of conic sections, which goes into the concept 
a little bit more. So these videos here, this is 22 minutes because it's more conceptual, but we know this video solution is going to be about, in this case, how long is this one? About 13 minutes because this is relatively a long problem. Now let's say we're in a static section. So let me show you more lesson notes and practice problems. Let's say I'm doing the must know fundamentals. So these are important fundamentals we need to know for statics. And let's say I'm doing the reaction forces. Let me see what that video is about. Let me go here, close this to the side. This looks like the hands-on conceptual video that I'm showing us to show us certain types of reactions. What's really a reaction? When is it gonna go down? When is it gonna go up? So that's what this video is showing us here. Cantilever beam, simply supported beam. It's a conceptual video for this one. Let me go back here and still we're in statics. Let me go down and go under equilibrium rigid bodies. Let me look at the lesson. Let's see what we have. Again, you just click that to see the lesson. So I'm gonna click that and as it loads, we have these equations of equilibrium I see at the beginning. So we have this stuff and we have some conceptual notes, the inclined plane, we have the reactions, and we have, let's say, an interactive type of thing here going on. And this is gonna show us the reaction forces. So let me click this, roller reaction is gonna have one. We have this is gonna have two reactions. We can look at this case where we're dealing with, uh, looks like a cantilever beam. So it shows us all the reactions here for this fixed connection cantilever. So these are 3D reactions just to expose us to the practical application when we have our reaction forces. Let me go here, we can still look at this stuff from the side and not the lesson, let me go under the practice problems. So let's do one of these and let's do the most important when we find the moment. Again, when you click these, these are the video practice problems, the most important. So we have that, we have the problem. It's a fill in the blank question. They're common nowadays on the FB exam. And what we have is the correct answer. If we wanna peek at that after attempting the problem, it's expected that you attempt this at your own, struggle through it. And if you get stuck, you can ask me questions. And if you have no idea, watch the video solution to the point where you got stuck and see from that point, you can pause it again, continue with your own solution. So now the video solutions show us the stuff, the step-by-step, -step. I do not skip any step. I'm gonna go slow to make sure it sticks. You gotta know this stuff. This is very important, especially for statics. So I'm gonna go slow and break it down one step at a time for you. And if you have questions, you can always post them here. You can post all your questions, anything you have in mind, you can directly post it here. Just about anything related to this problem is acceptable when you ask these questions. We looked at the lesson notes. We looked at the video practice problems. Now let's look at the quizzes. So this is gonna be for each section. For statics, we will have one quiz that's gonna test you at the end on all the topics. So this is gonna be the real test under similar conditions to that on exam day. So it will be timed. Let's click that and look at the quiz. So we're looking at the statics quiz right here. And now before I begin, I have to gather all my resources, my calculator, and I'm gonna be ready because it's gonna be timed. Start practice. Notice it has a time limit. We're making it about two to three minutes per question, depending on the type of question. You can flag for review, similar to exam day. So you wanna get used to flagging because this exam is not just about the knowledge. A lot of it is the exam taking strategy you have, and you're gonna develop that using these quizzes and full length practice exams we have in the course. And what you can do here is actually use your handbook that's uploaded here, and this is all your handbook, and you can do that here, and you can see, and you can type certain search keywords to see where in the handbook this is, and we can, in this case, type concrete. I know this is not related to concrete because it is a statics problem. So in this case, I'm on question three. I can keep going. Let's say it's going to be a conceptual question. Lots of conceptual questions. We have to get used to this stuff. We have another question right here. We have the pin fixed, what type of connection that is in terms of the reactions. And we have a lot of other 
practical, relevant FE type problems when we do these quizzes. So we have the quizzes, we have the FE handbook, we can do the bookmarks here as well. And let's say I'm focusing on statics, I'm gonna look at that. I'm gonna zoom in just like the real exam. Let me zoom in a bit here to see this. Let me move a little bit. You're gonna get used to this. You have to mimic those conditions and get used to actual exam day conditions. And the best way to do that is by doing these quizzes and full length practice exams. You have access to two full length practice exams. Let's look at those a little bit. Number one and number two, civil FE relevant practice exams, 110 questions each. So here we have practice exam one. Practice exam one is gonna be more calculation based. Yes, it still has conceptual questions, but more calculation based. Practice exam two is gonna be more conceptual two full length practice exams with the same simulator. Let me show you that. Let me click on the first one. Let's go see, start practice. We have it, 110 questions. Let me view my handbook, only my handbook. I'm not uploading it, I'm viewing it in my browser. And we have the search, bookmarks, zooming in, panning, and all of that good stuff. We can flag problems for review, and I'm gonna work through this Lastly, at the end of my preparation, let's say two to three weeks before your exam date, you're gonna be going through these practice exams. You're gonna review them, review everything you got wrong and everything you got correct and building your stamina and endurance with these full length practice exams. All the quizzes and practice exams come with detailed step-by-step -step solutions that reference the FE handbook and the latest FE handbook. So in this case, let's say we're at this problem, we're in the practice exam, we see the solution step-by-step -step with figures, lots of figures to help us visualize what's going on. Here's another problem, step-by-step -step with lots of figures. Another problem, look at this, neat figures, highlighting things, showing us the areas, showing us another figure, showing us where in the handbook. Not many courses will offer this. And on top of that, it shows us how to use the calculator. These are only some of the major course features. This video will drag on for way too long if I were to present all the course features, but you're gonna get additional calculator videos for both the Casio and the TI-36. You're gonna get additional conceptual videos for the afternoon section, which tends to be tricky in terms of the concepts, you're gonna get additional practice problems on top of the quizzes, on top of the practice exams, and on top of the video practice problems. You don't have to do those, but if you wanna test yourself on a weak area, you can practice with those additional practice problems. And you're gonna get a stopwatch, and lastly, you're gonna get a Discord community where you can message me directly. I want you to know that I'm absolutely committed to helping you pass this FE exam. I'm in this with you for the long run, and I'm in this with you for the long term. You can always count on me anytime you're stuck on a question or need that extra push through this journey. We're gonna take it one day at a time, one topic at a time, and one practice problem at a time. Now let's put in the work.